when i saw this this morning um it really shocked me because i had heard about it before even from eric acosta he even said we wanted to do it but i did not think that they were really actively trying to do it because i thought it was just lip service from the baltimore ravens i thought it was just all talk from eric acosta i did not think he was actively trying to get this thing done jeff's rebit Put out an article well, super early this morning because you know Jeff Zerbe he be dropping them gems and articles early in the morning. So shout out to him; he's the best in the business. Um, and it was titled "Ravens Linebacker Patrick Queen is Ready to Be Unleashed After Offseason of Angst." And this is how it started. It said it wasn't the Baltimore Ravens declining to pick up the fifth year option on his rookie contract, making him eligible for free agency next year, that initially set Patrick Queen off. The Ravens using a third round pick on his potential replacement, Clemson's Trenton Simpson, didn't push Queen closer to the breaking point either. See, this is the part right here that shocked me, even though we heard about it, but this is the part that shocked me. It said the damage had already been done early in the offseason when talks with Queen about a potential contract extension broke off amid a difference of opinion on how much it should cost. And when I saw that, because I know we, we saw the report, we even did a video about it where Eric DaCosta said that he wanted to pay Patrick Quinn. And this, this was after Roquan Smith. This is why I thought he was just talking. I thought he was just talking and trying to just motivate Patrick Queen so Patrick Queen could have a good year, so Patrick Queen could still be locked in with the Baltimore Ravens, so Patrick Queen could still be focused as a Baltimore Raven as long as he would continue to be a Baltimore Raven. I thought that was just more of motivational speech from Eric DaCosta. Like, hey, Patrick, hey, we, we want to pay you. We want to pay Patrick Queen. We, we really want to keep Patrick Queen. But, hey, like, so, so come with it. Come right. So before we either trade you or before you become a free agent, we can get the most out of you. That's all I thought it was. But I, I did not know. Again, after they paid Roquan Smith, after, this is what makes it the most surprising to me, that they were still engaged with talks with Patrick Queen to try to get something done. And that's, whoo, that's some serious right there because – and, and I said this before months ago when, when that original report first came out Even though, again, I didn't believe that Eric DeCosta Was really trying to get a deal done with Patrick Queen But apparently he was really trying to get a deal done with Patrick Queen But the talks broke off But I'm thinking like, alright, you, you just paid Roquan Smith top Linebacker money at that time He got paid the highest, what, average 20 mil per season, I think He, he got paid some bread So what, what you gonna do with Patrick Queen? Cause I know you ain't gonna pay him Top two money. Definitely not top what? Not, not even top three, not top five. I know you're not gonna pay him like that. So what would it be? And with Patrick Queen, I feel like if he's gonna get paid the most money that he can possibly make, it ain't coming from the Ravens. It's not. And I y'all know me. I wanna keep every single body there is. I wanna keep all the good players. And I like Patrick Queen a lot. And I feel like with Patrick Queen. It was tough, man. He was put in a very, very, very tough position from jump because this dude drafted in the first round and got asked to be the guy because he's an inside linebacker and he was asked to be the guy. Super, super young. Didn't even have much experience at LSU. But he got asked to come in to the Baltimore Ravens. And again, hey, as an NFL player, there's pressure enough. As an NFL defender, especially with offense being key nowadays, that's pressure enough. Uh, as a linebacker, rookie linebacker, expected to take over for your team. Or for, yeah, for this team that you got drafted by, that's pressure enough. But it's extra pressure when you are drafted as a linebacker of the Baltimore, inside linebacker of the Baltimore Ravens. Because, again, it's not fair, but it happens. You will always and forever be compared to Ray Lewis because he sets such a high standard with the Baltimore Ravens on the field. That any inside linebacker that comes through, they're going to get compared. It, it happens every time. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. Especially when they're asked to be the guy. It happened with C.J. Mosley. Y'all, yeah, uh-huh. Daryl Smith. Uh, it, it happened with Patrick Queen. Even Patrick Onwasu a little bit. And people were like, oh, Patrick Onwasu, how, how, how much are you like Ray Lewis? But... It, it, it's in people's heads because Ravens fans expectation for inside linebacker play is through the roof because of what we've had. Ravens expectation for safety play is through the roof because of what we had with Ed Reed, obviously. So the expectations for Patrick Queen were high. There was a lot of pressure put on him from jump, especially at such a young age. And early on, he did well. Then the, the, the missed tackle started. So there was some up and down. But when they brought in Roquan Smith, 
even before they brought in Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen was his play was ascending. He was getting better and better, which I I was like, ah, oh, yeah, let's go, Patrick. Let's go, PQ. Um, but then when they brought brought in Roquan Smith, that helped him out even more because that alleviated so much off of him. Because again, there was a lot on his plate. There was a lot on his table. And not saying that he couldn't handle it, but when they brought in Roquan Smith, they were like, hey, let, let's give give some of your responsibilities to the veteran. And we're going to alleviate that pressure off of you. Because we know you can be a good player. We've seen you make some good plays. We've seen you miss some plays too. But every player misses some plays. But we've seen what your potential is. You know what? Let's take a different approach. Let's put you in a different position. So you ain't, you ain't got to be Batman. But you can sort of be, be Robin. Or it could be like sort of like two Batmans or whatnot. But we're going to alleviate the pressure that we put on you. We're going to put it on Roquan Smith, a veteran who's been here, done that. But you're still going to be on the field, and you're still going to make plays, but we want things to be easier for you. That's what it seemed like the Baltimore Ravens did when they brought in Roquan Smith, when they gave up that second-round pick to acquire him. So with Patrick Queen, with this article, like, really confirming, like, they they were really trying to pay Patrick Queen too. I was shocked. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm still surprised at it. I ain't mad at it. Hey, as long as – if you're going to pay Patrick Queen too – as long as you could still always get a corner, because, I, I mean, corner in a draft next year probably most likely happening now. We got, like, 20 corners on one-year deal, so we're going to be right back all in this situation next year again. So, yeah, it's probably going to be first-round pick for a corner next year. Unless a real nice one comes available and you trade for him or you sign or whatever, have it, hey, we'll see. But um, if you going to pay Patrick Queen too, hey, it ain't my money. <laughs> and if you will pay everybody, cool. But – just make sure that wide receiver room is right and make sure that offensive line is right. Just make sure they're right. You're going to pay the contract. To, no problem. But make sure those things are taken care of, man. Because we need our quarterback protected. Because he paid already. So he's straight. We need the weapons, too. So that's, that's all that I will ask. But back to the article. Um, Patrick Queen said, he said, there were talks and then some stuff fell through. Uh, obviously, you get upset. I'm probably going to be gone. That's at least what I was thinking in my head. I'm thinking that I'm gone. Everybody reacts out of emotion to certain things. And, hey, y'all know, I thought he was gone too. When they when the Ravens declined Patrick Queen's fifth-year option, I was like, oh, yeah, he, he's out of here. He's gone. Especially, actually, when, when they paid Roquan, first when they traded for Roquan Smith, I said Patrick Queen's days were numbered. I said it the day after, two days within two days. I said Patrick Queen's days are numbered. They're not gonna pay two inside linebackers, and I know like they gave him a second round pick for Roquan Smith. He was not no rental. He wasn't a rental. So I was like, oh yeah, that that that's a wrap for Patrick Queen. But I wanted them to keep him. I really wanted them to keep him because y'all again, I want to keep everybody. But then they so they they not only traded for Roquan Smith, but then they traded for and then they paid him. Patrick Queen had been here for three years. It seemed like Roquan Smith had been here for like three games, and he got a $100 million contract. So I know Patrick Queen was looking at the like, oh, really? That, why not me? But he paid Roquan Smith, so I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a wrap. But, yeah, I was thinking the same thing Patrick Queen was thinking. When, and th they paid Roquan, then they, dra they drafted Trent Simpson. Oh, oh, I said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, yeah, that's, that's it. I actually thought Patrick Queen was going to get traded before the draft. And then it didn't happen. I said, oh, okay. All right. There's, there's some hope that he stays, which I was happy about. But, yeah, then they traded. I mean, excuse me, they drafted Trent Simpson. So, oof. Uh-oh. So, I guess maybe he might get traded after the draft. Then the offseason came, and it was still here. He was getting through it. And Patrick Green was still with the Ravens. I said, okay, I like it. I'm not mad at it. I love it. Because Patrick Queen, like this year, he has such an opportunity, man. And this article, it, it dives into how uh, his mindset just changed, how, how his just whole, just his vibe changed uh, moving forward and looking forward. Because it, it says that he, he does want to get paid, obviously. Who doesn't want to get paid? But, and he's accepted the fact that, hey, his payday may not come from the Ravens. It, it, it just may not. But he said he's all in this year. He's laser focused this year. He's 100% committed this year. And I, I said that with Patrick Queen, he can be very dangerous, and especially, again, if he continues to be used the right way and continues to execute the right way as well. Because with Patrick Queen, the motivation's got to be through the roof. Because, again, you, the whole Roquan Smith thing, you watching that, it, it could be so frustrating because I've been in that situation before. Been at a job for years, 
watch them bring in somebody else who's doing the same job as me, uh, but watch them get paid more. It is one of the most frustrating things ever. You feel like it's a slap in the face. You feel disrespected. You are heated. You are upset, aggravated, frustrated, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. But you can do one of two things. You can either just sit there and be upset and be angry all the time, be frustrated, show your emotions. <sighs> I'm mad. Or you can still be all those things. And you can be like, you know what? Let me step my game up even more. Let, let, let me continue to show these people why I deserve to get the bread too. And it can work out a couple of different ways for you. Hey, maybe you'll get paid from that same company. They'll, they'll realize, oh yeah, you are something special. We got you. Or hey, maybe it'll be time to move on somewhere else. Because you can make more money doing what you're doing now, but you can make a lot more money elsewhere. So I think that's what Patrick Queen is faced with. But he has all the reason to be motivated in the world right now because it's time to earn your bread. This is the last year of your contract. So teams are looking. Teams have already been looking, but teams are definitely looking now like, hey, Ravens already paid Roquan Smith. They ain't about to pay Patrick Queen, too. We don't see them doing that. Or would they? But regardless, teams are going to be watching and waiting because he, he's going to be one of the top linebackers in free agency and one of the most explosive linebackers in free agency. But before you get to free agency, hey, we got one more year to run this right now. And if Patrick Queen can go into free agency, like he's already set up nice for free agency, but if he can go to into free agency as a Super Bowl champ, ooh, that would do wonders for him because that would add something to his resume that it can never be taken off, ever. And if Ravens do what we want them to do and what we a lot of people expect them to do, um, then Patrick Queen will be a big part of that on defense. He really will. So I'm excited for it, man. Again, I, I, I was shocked by this news when, when I first saw it today because I'm like, man, so it was real. So Eric DaCosta was telling the truth. Uh, so I guess Eric DaCosta, man, he, I guess he's real with it, man. So as far as liars, lunches, and all that, I ain't gonna, I, those, okay, yeah, he's gonna be lying, but. He's Eric DaCosta. He's he going to tell the truth, too. If, if he ain't at no liars luncheon, then Eric DaCosta is going to be real with it, man. So, all right, EDC, I see you, man. And I, re I respect it. So, I'm, I'm going to start paying a little closer attention to the words you say and not take them all as lip service. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I really, really appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on because we are officially in week one. Less than... <laughs> Oh, that feels good to say. Less than seven days. It's six days, y'all. Six days we're going to be watching the Ravens play the Texas live, man. So we've made it, y'all. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And we out.